different types of mothers and these mothers that are like now they're kind of like yeah, these in new, the head these new age mothers are so <laughs> I want to so say weird. not all but nowadays some new, of them some yeah. of them the new age mothers are just too selfish what's up y'all welcome back to the j j j jonesies we got another let's talk about it. I don't know where it's coming from <laughs> <laughs> yes we got another let's talk about it mm -hmm. Mad better. Nah, it's man. You're a little flat. <laughs> Thank you everybody for subscribing, commenting, sending in questions. We love it. Yes. So this one is good. This one was this one was titled My Mom Need to Shut the F Up. That's what this email was titled. So I was interested. So we had to pick it. Yes. Yeah, so it. without further ado, <laughs> let's get into the video. <laughs> start off by reading the question okay okay right. okay hey I'm 28 and I have a five-year-old daughter mm -hmm. I have my own place a good job and of course I still like to go out with my friends and party and drink time to time when I go out I always make sure I come home before my kids wake up in the morning mm -hmm. here's my dilemma every time I drop my kids off to stay at my mom's house she's always complaining she always says I'm going out too much never spend time with my kids or help them with their e-learning. She always talking shit. I, I want to go out and live my best life. Period. Am I going out too much or is my mom just tripping? So, I don't, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know what it is about these mothers now. But they just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, okay... You got a good job or whatever, you know, your mom watches the kids. Okay, you saying that you come in before your kids wake up. Okay, that still don't count. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. that still doesn't make it okay. Still doesn't make it better. You still miss them. You still didn't put them to bed. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that still don't count. Two, your mom's complaining or whatever. It's like, okay, some moms could be, you know, just bitching. Mm -hmm. And some like, okay, you need to sit down or whatever. Most of the time is you need to sit down. Because, yes, they are the grandparents, but at the same time, they don't want to have your kids more than you have your kids. Exactly. My whole thing, what I don't get with the whole, you know, these, it's because it's different types of mothers. And these mothers that are like now, they're kind of like yeah, these in new, the head. These new age mothers are so, <laughs> they're I want to so say weird. not all, but nowadays, some, new, of, them, some yeah. of them, the new age Mothers are just too selfish. Like, like so it's right, and it's like selfish. when it comes to grandparents, grandparents they don't supposed to watch your kids twenty four seven. Right. You supposed to bring your kids over to your grandparents' house, and it's supposed to be like a surprise. You know right. what I'm saying? They're not supposed to be like tired of your kids. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You supposed to take them to visit. Oh hey, my grandkids. Right. They be get this baby. Mm -hmm. So it's just like it's I don't know it's just so annoying to me because it's just like get your kids right and I you feel know? like some parents don't understand like when you have a kid and you're you're raising a whole human being mm -hmm. the stuff you do yeah really shapes that kid into what yes they took. like if you're never there you always out. Your kid might grow up and be like, you know, I don't respect you because you ain't never been there type thing. Exactly. Like, like, who are you to tell me, you know? Yeah. And there are some there are some parents that are so into themselves that they don't even see when their kids is crying for help. Like, right. it's just some things that you'd be like, you know, obviously. Right. You know, something's going on. She don't want you to leave. She's saying you're going out too much. She, you know, right. or whatever. It's time for you to stay home. And it's like, we're not saying it's not okay to go out. Because, yeah, you need to go out. Sometimes right. you get tired of your kids. But when it gets excessive. See, this is what we're talking about. The excessive part. We're not mm -hmm. talking about going out. So, when it's excessive. Because that's what I'm thinking right here. The whole question is excessive. Mm -hmm. So, sit your ass down. Like, first of all, what what is out there? Right. Please tell me what's out there. Because... You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's nothing out there for you to be missing your kids' life, missing milestones, 
how could you still go outside if your kid like looks at you and tell you like okay I can you stay home like how right. could you still just be like okay no right <laughs> I'm gonna go out you know what I'm saying <laughs> like that is just I don't know that'll hurt my feelings if my kid like, was to say something to me that will hurt my feelings I feel like me if my kid says um could you stay home I don't want you to go out whatever I'm probably nine times out of ten I'm staying home because it's just like you know it ain't that serious yeah. To where it's like, oh, they missing you. Like, okay, if it gets to a point where it's like every time you try to go somewhere, your kid crying. And then you be like, like, shut up, sit shut up. up. <laughs> but if, if you ain't got no crybaby kid and they were like, no, nah, don't go, and they're right. acting out and stuff like that, stay home. You obviously going out too much. Right. Like, spend some time. You once. This is my mindset. When you have a kid, then that means that. It's time to sit down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't have a kid. Y'all be having kids and then be like, okay, now I'm finna go outside. You weren't going outside before. Right. Now you want to go outside now. <laughs> like, go. what? What is this? Like, right. y'all act like y'all be having a whole midlife crisis soon as y'all, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. have a baby. Like, you know what I'm saying? And right. it's just for you to even try to get into it with your mom about her saying something about it, it's just rude because... She ain't gotta watch your kid. You know what I'm saying? True. Yeah. Get a babysitter then. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's how I feel about it. And it's so irritating. And it's, I'm just I'm just <laughs> I'm just annoying. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. But yeah, ooh. some of y'all y'all just need to Y'all need to together. realize like how you need to sit down and think, how often do I go outside? How often do I go out? Yeah. How often do I spend time with my kids? Yep. Like y'all really y'all You raising a human. You have to put your children first. Yeah, I'm not having no kids until I'm ready to sit down. Right. You know what you I'm saying? Because ain't nobody to finna tell me to sit down. Right. When I'm ready to sit down, <laughs> this ain't even burning right, y'all. She just have she finna have a soot s'mores. But yeah, that's all. Let's what talk does that about mean? it. What's a soot s'more? Like you just getting it's just getting dark. It's not really cooking. It's just like. So that means it's gonna taste stinking. Yeah. There you go. I'm cooking with fire. <laughs> That's all. Let's talk about it. Please subscribe. Send in questions. Yes. Please send them in. We definitely gonna read them all. At one point, we're gonna do them all. Don't feel like you're gonna sit something in. There's not gonna be a video done. There's gonna be a video done. My talk is too hard. <laughs> yes, we love you guys. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you guys next time. See ya. That's how y'all got it fucked up. Grandparents are supposed to be able to come to your house and stay with you and visit with their grandkids. You're supposed to be able to drop your kids off when your grandparents call for them and in their leisure time. Grandparents are not supposed to be daycares. Everybody's time is valuable. We have our own life. We work very hard to get everybody out of the house. Why would we want to raise your kids and keep your kids? That's out of order. But black people, the black culture is so dysfunctional. That's why y'all think that grandparents is supposed to be keeping kids and raising kids. It don't go that way. Y'all got it messed up.